His retirement has rather changed the picture when it comes to active wrestler records. As of November 2021, the man with the most career wins is Tamawashi, who will turn 37 during the upcoming meet. The blue-belted eagle now also has the most top division wins, leading second-placed Tochinoshin by a mere seven. That should add more spice to their matchups, as if any more were needed. Those two are also neck and neck for most top division tournaments on the chart, once you take away Hakuho's 103. Unlike Washi and Noshin, Hakuho's was an unbroken run. Incredible, isn't it? Currently leading the way for successive top division tournaments is Okinomi. Tamawashi, by virtue of a perfect attendance record, leads Tochinoshin and the rest in terms of total top division appearances. He's also number one for successive career appearances across all divisions. However, it is Takara Fuji who has contested the highest number of successive bouts in Division 1. In fact, he even surpassed Hakuho in the last tournament. Top of the charts for gold stars against Yokozuna is Ichinojo, followed by Hokuto Fuji and Endo, just as in September. The loss of a Yokozuna makes such records all the harder to break, how can any of them now hope to match Akinoshima's 16, with only Tedo no Fuji to aim at? Realistically, only Endo will have a chance to add to his tally this time. Hokuto Fuji is too low ranked for a Yokozuna match and would have to become a title contender to get one. And Ichinojo is too high ranked. Komusubi and above do not qualify. Incidentally, Teranofuji is only the 10th man in Sumo's history to be ranked as a lone Yokozuna. Now for some quirkier stats. Two years ago, Sadogatake and Kisei were hotly contesting the race for largest stable. But a spate of retirements at both has allowed Hakkaku, freshly merged with Azumazeki, to take that honour, with 29 wrestlers now living under the chairman's roof. The stable with the most salaried level wrestlers, that's Division 2 and above, remains Oitekaze. Eleven stables have no salaried men at all, but two of those, Shikihide and Musashigawa, have still managed to recruit 18 men. Nishikido and Kiseno Sato's new Araiso stable prop up those rankings with only four fighters apiece. When it comes to regions producing the most wrestlers, Tokyo comes top, with Osaka, home of the March tournament, and near neighbour Hyogo sharing second, and Aichi, home of the Nagoya tournament, placing fourth. Fukuoka, the venue for this coming meet, has supplied 25 of the current pack, while the wider Kyushu region, excluding Okinawa, can claim credit for 102, which is why Sumo likes to stage tournaments there. For foreign-born wrestlers, Mongolia is obviously out front with 18, with six other nations represented by just the one man. Total wrestler numbers have fallen by 8 since September, leaving us with 634. To provide context, the first Kyushu tournament I attended 13 years ago saw 696 men ranked. Go back 13 years before that, and you had 876. There's lots of young sumo talent out there, but less and less of it is choosing to join. Sumo Chiefs, please discuss. And finally, there have been quite a few near misses this year, but Wakamoto Haru's in September was particularly historic, dooming as it did 2021 to see no new faces in Division 1. The first time this has happened in any calendar year since the six-tournament system was introduced.